Hey everybody, this is Inform the Confused, I'm Alan. And I'm Bobby. And today we are starting Volume 2. About damn yep. time. Volume 2, Chapter 1, which I believe is entitled Best Day Ever. It remember is. remember correctly, yep, Best Day Ever. Alright, uh, so we last uh, left off, uh, they uh, attempted to stop a robbery. That's a good way of putting it. They yeah. went to the place where they shouldn't be in hopes of proving that they weren't there to begin with. But they were there. And some stuff happened and some people fought. And Now we're on season two. And now we're on season two. Penny so. had wing blades. But, yep, Penny had crazy bl- blade weapons and uh, Sun had gunshots. Which, which you were just ecstatic. I'm, you were like I'm a try- big, try- little, little boy on Christmas. Trying to contain myself. Trying to contain myself. And then at the very end, we had our little uh, end credit scene where uh, the mysterious lady from the plane showed back up again with a couple of uh, individuals with her. Plane thing. Um, technically, it's basically like, uh, what do you call it? An Osprey is, I believe, the name of the actual... Osprey. Osprey. Agents the of thing. S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah, it, no, it, that, an actual real-world aircraft. Yeah, it, aircraft. It's uh, where it does that thing where, the, where it, it, it goes thing. straight up and then the engines rotate out and it goes like that. Isn't science amazing? Yeah. Technically, that's engineering. But so yes. Are, are, are those... Which is based on science. Well, are, yep. But are they like Autobots or Decepticons? What? The, the, sh- the airship? Yeah. Atlercons. N- okay, that's neither. Not. They're just airships. <laughs> but just airships. Okay. They, they are not giant robots. Oh. Whether or not we will get giant robots in this show, you'll just have to... You'll have wait to and wait see. and see. Will this show turn into Gundam? Well, no, Nick's all not of a sudden, here. Nick, all of a sudden, Nick shows up. It's like, why is Nick here? Giant robots! Oh. Well, they don't have to necessarily transform, but don't they get an illusion themselves? Like, I'm oh, a, the airships? I'm, I'm a blender. No, I'm Optimus not, Prime. No. The, 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 the equipment and, uh, you know... The, it's not like you know uh, the the bed post Only has the an illusion to it or names. something okay. like that. You know. All right. Um, so nobody's. Well, no, that's nobody's, not entirely true. Nobody's going to be. That's Lumiere. not entirely true. Now, some of the Grim get names too. Well, no, the Grims all get it. But I mean, in in terms of equipment, there are certain pieces of equipment that are get names. But that's based that's a whole on other illusion thing. items like Excalibur. There is one item in particular, when everybody n- listening knows what the hell I'm talking about, that has a name that is very specific to things. And then there's other stuff that just has a name because, you know, things have names. A Cadillac is a Cadillac. It's not just a random car. It's got a, it, there's a brand name attached to it. But, and there's some shit like that. But Everyone anyways. likes to name their weapon. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. Anyways, all right. Start of volume two. So you get to see what happens when they actually start getting a little bit of a budget. Though not much of one. Hell of a lot more than they had for season yeah, one. Yeah. Newly reanimated. <laughs> I can climb down a ladder with my elbows now. <laughs> or not. Excuse Ankles me. Ankles are hard. Mm, sorry. <laughs> I'm not really from around here. <laughs> Um, would you mind pointing me in the direction of this shop? Mm-hmm. I knew you were lost. Mercury, I will seriously pay you to shut up. That's not your money. But it could be yours for five minutes of silence. Mm, no deal. Mm, fine. Whatever. You want me. <laughs> as simple as a unicorn? Uh, no. Um, I don't know. I mean, are you going to... Yeah, no, no. That is not what it is. Look over there. So how much farther? A oh, few blocks. Point. Oh, this place Pretty is so that's dull. Meh. Nah, I kind of oh, like I it. They were auto-safes. Tall buildings, diverse culture. And nice, dopey people who are easy to pickpocket. That's every city. Ooh, Emerald, Master Thief! Please don't take my money. I barely have enough to get by. Mm. You're no fun today. But you'll notice already, people in the background, walking around, and they're not shadows. Be 
you right there. Welcome to Tuxin's Book Trade, home to every book under the sun. How may, uh... How may I help you? Just browsing. Actually, I was wondering, do you have any copies of The Thief and the Butcher? Yes, we do. That's great. Would you like a copy? No, just wondering. Oh, oh, what about Violet's Garden in paperback? He's got it. Hardback, too. Ooh, options are nice. Eh, no pictures. Hey, do you have any comics? Near the front. Oh, no, wait. What about Third Crusade? Um... I... don't believe we carry that one. Oh. What was this place called again? Tuxin's Book Trade. And you're Tuxin? That's right. So then I take it that you're the one who came up with the catchphrase. Yes. And what was it again? <sighs> Tuxin's Book Trade, home to every book under the sun. Except the Third Crusade. It's just a catchphrase. It's false advertising. You shouldn't make a promise you can't keep, Tuxin. I hear you're planning on leaving, moving all the way to Vacuo. Your brothers in the White Fang wouldn't be happy to hear that. And neither are we. You know who we are, don't you? Yes. And you know why we're here? Yes. So, are you going to fight back? Yes! Ah! with that. Eh, I like the pictures. What you doing? Nothing. Just going over notes from last semester. Lame. minutes ago, I had a dream. This ought to be good. <laughs> mm. A dream that one day, the four of us would come together as a team and have the most fun anyone has ever had! Ever! Did you steal my binder? I am not a crook. What are you talking about? I'm talking about kicking off the semester with a bang. I always kick my semesters off with a yang. Oh. Eh? Guys? I All thought right? you should say bang. <laughs> <laughs> Look, guys, it's been a good two weeks, and between more exchange students arriving and the tournament at the end of the year, our second semester is going to be great. But classes start back up tomorrow, which is why I've They're taken like the time the to schedule a series of wonderful events for us today. I don't know whether to be proud but or scared of what I you have I missed that whole store. scene because I got so distracted by the fact that there was four people I who all are exactly the out. same. But, but there are not, people in the background now, though. Oh, yeah. Day, we should do it as a Steps. team. I got it! I, for one, think that... <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's harsh. So then we were fighting side by side, and she was super fast, and I threw a banana at a guy, which sounds gross, but Love it was awesome. Guys. Yeah. Nice. Right? And the best part is, she's a faunus. But that's a secret, okay? Got it. And not a, I'm gonna go tell Scarlet the second son turns his back, so even nice. secret, secret. Whoa, chill out, man, okay? I got it. I got it. You better. I just don't want to screw this up, you know? The people here are the coolest. No offense to you guys. I'm taken. <laughs> okay, they're just in here. I'm really excited for you to meet them. So be cool, okay? Is he cool, us? right? Dude. Him? Yeah. No. Good point. Okay. Not that we can tell. Oh!
Well, this is a new song. They have more people, yeah, and they have more people. Yeah. The way they, they find food to mimic all of their weapons. I love this. It's nonsensical, but it's great. Where did a whole swordfish come from? <laughs> Don't, don't, don't think about it. Don't think about it. Just enjoy it. She's allergic to shellfish. Just enjoy it. Oh, Chip. That's a beauty of these records. You know, the fact that he uses the loops is culturally relevant. I don't know. I think it's a bit far fetched. Oh, far fetched. Oh, I said God. side up. Damn it. Yeah. Point, point goes to you. Stop trying to make her cry. Ooh. I think I hit a blinder point. Right now, they're still children. So why not let them play the part? Let the children pretend that they're children. After all, it isn't a role they'll have forever. Until we have to send them out to fight monsters again. I mean, for, for sorting into your team, launched into the woods at high speed. So. Look, she sent the kids again. This is turning out just like the divorce. Oh. Spare us the thought of you procreating. That was a joke. And this just might. Tell me where you two have been all day. What? I'm a professional, sweetheart. Pay attention. Maybe you'll learn something. Why do you have this address? Wouldn't you like to know? Yeah, I would. Now, where have you been all day? Cleaning up your problems. One of them, at least. I had that under control. Two packed bags and a ticket out of bail said otherwise. Listen, you little punk. If it were up to me, I would take you and your little street rat friend here, and I would... Do what, woman? <laughs> I'd, uh, not kill them? Cinder! I thought I made it clear that you were to eliminate the would-be runaway. I was going to... He was going to escape to Vacuo. Mercury and I decided to take it upon ourselves to kill the rat. I think he was some sort of cat, actually. What? Like a puma? Yeah, there you go. Quiet. Did I not specifically instruct you two to keep your hands clean while in Veil? <laughs> I just thought... Don't think. Obey. Yes, ma'am. It won't happen again. 
and you. <laughs> Why wasn't this job done sooner? I've been a little busy stealing every speck of dust in the kingdom. You're an inspiration to every punk with a gun and a ski mask. Look around, kid. I've got this town running scared. Police camping out at every corner, dust prices through the roof, and we're sitting pretty in an old warehouse with more dust crystals, vials, and rounds, and we know what to do with. Speaking of which, if you guys wouldn't mind filling me in on your Grandmaster plan, it might actually make my next string of robberies go a little smoother. Oh, Roman, have a little faith. You'll know what you need when you need to know. She just used her power for sure. Besides, we're done with dust. Okay. Physical contact, and she's got a heart now. To her back. We're moving. Have the White Fang clear out this building. I'll send you details and coordinates tonight. Coordinates? What's the angle? We're proceeding to phase two. <laughs> that the tattoo on her back is stuff. Yeah, the that mark on her back is stuff. There's a point where that it takes, there's well. a point where it breaks, there's a point where it bends, and a point we just can't take anymore. There's a line that will cross, and there's no way to This is probably the most popular one. Plays um, Achilles. What's what's her name? Pyrrha. 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 Yeah. Pyrrha and her weapon. She's a she's a living railgun. Yeah, basically. Yeah. She, she, she's, she's magnetic. The way so. she uses her spear, she's basically a railgun. Yes. yes. Although the spear does, in fact, actually have the ability to shoot off by itself because it's also a gun, but. She does have the ability to, to amplify it with her, her abilities. <coughs> and yes, the you she are throws absolutely correct. Oh. Yeah. All right. Uh, that was the beginning of season two. Um, the animation. Definitely a step up. You can see it. Yeah. For sure. Um, and just that fight scene itself. I like that yeah. they started out with a fight scene because I wanted, more, I wanted to see more choreography. Mm -hmm. I like the fact that they didn't immediately just go into like and by the way, it's war. Yep. It, I, it's, it's, I a, believe, it's still school. It's a I believe, food fight. I believe the story behind this... You know, no, I, I was going to tell a story about, about the origins of, the, of that scene, but that might potentially... Spoil some stuff. Spoil yeah, you something. Should wait till or later. It, might, it might be a negative spoiler. It might let you know that there's something that's not going to happen later on, and I don't want to do that. So um, I'll leave that, but... <clears throat> Yeah, no, but but yeah, I, I always liked the, the that's still one of my favorite fights, like the, the craziness of that fight fight scene. Right, the, 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 a food fight. You take all that crazy animation and you apply it to a food fight. Like with the, I mean, with, with the bloody turkeys and the watermelon ham. He's fighting with leeks. Right. Yeah. You know, and, but the thing is, it makes sense because when they when you, Pura tells you about Aura, tells you about Aura, that and it their equipment is equipment. Your equipment is conduits for aura. They can use their aura like a structural integrity field to re structurally reinforce their weapons or whatever they're holding. Hence, a loaf of bread or a leak can become that rigid. Indestructible and, and weapon. I, th I thought it was interesting that Ruby didn't find anything that fit her scythe. Well, yeah, she didn't. She ultimately, she didn't need to. She had the, she had the uh, finishing move. Right, right. So... And she used a, a, a trade of, it's like a skateboard, I think, kind, kind of thing mm. for a while. But yeah, <coughs> I find it hilarious. John, John, like, he throws a watermelon, gets hit in the head, and is down for the rest of the fight. 
if you if you notice, he throw he throws one watermelon at the beginning of the fight, and then he's just down and out, unconscious for the rest of the fight. <laughs> Poor okay, John. Like after Yang gets blasted through the ceiling, she's out until she crashes back in. Yeah. But she comes back in with style. <laughs> When, when you can when you can get knocked that high up in the air that when by the time you're coming back down you're at terminal velocity, and then just get up. That, Technically, that style. it could not be terminal velocity if she got back up. That's why the word terminal. No, is that's in not there. what that means. Terminal velocity is yeah. Is you, you, speed hit a, which, you hit a, a max speed. Oh right. Due to that the air the resistance. Max speed based on gravity. Although sorry. Due to the air resistance. She could probably slow herself down with her hand cannons. True. Probably. She could, but she's still coming in pretty freaking fast. She I came believe, in fast enough to crunch. Yeah. When they when they when they did the Yang versus Tifa death battle, they used that as one of the calculations. What, 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 how much damage she could take? Yeah, well, what, what does it mean for her to f- come falling that far down at terminal velocity and just get back up again <laughs> after already having taken the yeah. hits she's taken? But, yeah. But, um, all right, uh, kind of going back through the episode here, step by step. We met the two people that we saw briefly at the end of uh, the last volume, Emerald and Mercury. Yep. Cinder's associates. Mm-hmm. Um... Any any uh, thoughts on the, on their on their illusions? We haven't seen a lot of them. I will say still still clueless. I've the the, I've, I, the assumptions that I've made so far are mostly just Ruby's mom. Yeah, uh, I will say the, you asked about his symbol. Yeah, you saw his symbol. Did you see hers? It's on her back. The ho- it looked like a heart. It's an emerald. It's literally it's just it's a green emerald. Oh, okay. It's it's kind of stylized, but it, that's what it is. Her name is Emerald. The emblem is an emerald. His. Is a shoe with wings, a winged shoe, a winged foot. Mercury. His his is yeah. literally his name. The Roman god uh, Mercury. So is so, hers. So no, hers is emerald? emerald. It's a picture of an emerald. His is Mercury. Well, that's what her it's symbol. A... Is. That is not her illusion, though. Well, her illusion is, is, is a different character entirely. Hers is hard. Hers is like like Ren's. Hers is hard to get without. Picking up on context, but um, emerald. is she, is she can, the Emerald City? No, no, she's not the Emerald That's City. That's Beacon. I, I will say, her. I don't believe. In a weird way, her her name and her symbol almost kind of have something oh. to do with her. Is character she illusion, one of the? Is, is not she really. One of the, uh, what are they? Infinity shards from Sonic. What are they called? Mm. So they're, they're You're like, crossing the Infinity Stones yeah. from Marvel with the. Uh, I, I didn't. I didn't really. Gem, the. What are the gems God, called? What the hell are those gems called? Right. Infinity gems or something? Yeah. You know what? Yeah. Right. I don't remember, but no, that's not it. Chaos emeralds. Chaos emeralds. That's what emeralds, they're called. Boom. It. All right. So yeah. So Sonic's just gonna come up, or Knuckles is just gonna come up and be like, "Yeah, we have to get this." Hmm. But uh, oh, the only thing we really got with her was uh, we get she's a thief. A uh, pickpocket. Pickpocket. Well, he calls her a, th- a master thief. So I was being generous. I mean, he was insulting her, but I'm treating it as a compliment. But um, being facetious. She's, she steals shit. That's right. the bottom line. Whatever label you want to atti- apply to her. Her stats are through the roof. Yeah. And, and he kicks people in the head, killing them, apparently. Which... Um, when he, when he uh, t- like take, takes that kick to Texan's head, mm. the bookstore, um, which, for the record, is our first confirmed kill in this show. Especially that of a named first character. That is the first dead person. That has been confirmed dead. Hmm. Who also first dead named character. Yes. Um, That's a big move. Yeah, so that, that, is, that is of note. Um, Welcome to season two, bitches. So... They went in the bookstore. Uh, clear, clearly, they, uh, you caught why why they why they killed him. Uh, he's a traitor. To traitor to who? The White Fang. Yep. Yeah. Well, I thought that, I'm sorry. I didn't. I thought that was obvious. 
Uh, well, I'm, I'm well, just that's to why sure. we're asking is oh, to I'm, make sure it's as I'm, obvious I'm, I'm as we think it is. I'm prompting to make sure that you're, you're picking up on it. Well, I'm I mean, sorry if I'm yeah, being a little... The problem is we direct, think it's but, obvious because we've seen it before. We're yeah. trying to gauge how much uh, you're actually I'm trying not up. to assume too much because got, I've seen oh, this. Oh, got it, got And I don't it. want to assume Especially you after the incident with the penny thing where we assumed you knew. New penny and you didn't and we spoiled that. That, that so, was definitely okay. our bad, so we're okay. trying to be yeah. a little more careful now. Mm-hmm. All right, that makes sense. Um, I will, yeah. So, yeah, he's, he was going to run off and leave the White Fang, who's working with them, obviously, and they, nope. You do not leave. The I will, only way you leave is in a pine box. Mm. I thought um, they ate him. No. I'm, I'm pretty sure he just he kicked him in the head and snapped his neck. I'm pretty sure that was, you know, but uh, I love, he he takes the comic too. It's yeah. like, <laughs> just a nice little shoot. detail. Just t- tells you what you know about Mercury. Goes in there, kills a guy, takes the comic. I like the discussion about the different book titles. Yeah. There. Oh, yeah. And, um. Oh, I have a. Th- At I least have one a... of them is sort of kind of obliquely referenced during one of the school scenes. Um, which one? Uh, the one about the Faunus Revolution. Oh, Third Crusade. Well, I was actually going to say I I have a theory about that, and this this I can, I can talk about this because this is a personal theory that I don't know if it's ever ever been confirmed or whatever. This is just my own theory, so this is just out in there. Um, Third Crusade. If you if you look at the little bit of history we've been given, where we know, um. Actually, you know what? Do we? Do you know that yet? I don't think he knows that yet. That's in uh, the right. We know. We know about stuff. the Faunus Rights Revolution. I'm trying to remember if that was mentioned with. Yeah, no, that wasn't strictly speaking mentioned yet. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we're there yet. That, 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 yeah, uh, we're only halfway there on that theory, so I yeah. will. We'll get to it later. I may bring that up Confused. later on. Confused. <laughs> yeah. In- informed. No, I have a theory about why why their password, you know, the the obviously the password to give to identify that you're part of the the White Fang or whatever, yeah. which is what that you know he's hinting at there. I have a theory as to why it is what it is, why they picked that phrase, oh, but okay. that has to do with the funnest history. But you, there's a piece of it missing yet that you haven't gotten yet. Yeah, we don't have all so, of it yet. Yeah. So we'll bring it up later. And it, it's, it's just maybe, a personal fan theory I have about something that doesn't actually relate to anything anyway, so it's not that big a deal. But um, uh, then we meet, we've already met Sun, but we meet Neptune, who is one of his teammates. Those boys. Uh, probably up until, up until, I'd say, Volume 7, probably the fandom's favorite male, male ship. Oh, definitely. Without a doubt. Um, yeah, that's, that's, yeah. The two of them, the, the well, bros. Neptune just screams out for it. Oh. And he's already so close with oh. Sun to begin with. I, 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 love, I love the thing where he's like, you're going to be cool, right? Dude. Glitter. <laughs> okay, fair point. <laughs> More of a sheen. 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 He's but. like a well-dressed sim. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, so we, we we get him, um, and they made mention of someone else named Scarlet. Yep. Um, Johansson. Which? Yeah. But um, so they they show up, um, and they can't walk in, and food fight because we get a little bit at the beginning. Ruby wants to have a big fun day because they're in between. I love semesters. the dude that splats against the window as they're walking. That was John. Was that John? That was okay. John. <laughs> and the fact that Sun and Neptune are walking by are just oblivious. Now, to I, the fact that he's on the I will say, he gets hit with a watermelon. Now, the fact that he gets knocked out right away, it's still very clear that he's faulty with his aura. Yeah. So he gets hit with a watermelon that was thrown by somebody expecting him to have his aura up. And he didn't have it up. Exactly. So that's and that. he didn't have it up, or he didn't have it up. He, he, he he's didn't like, oh, it's it just a way. watermelon. It's not going to... Un- you really have to wonder about the number of concussions that boy's had. Well, isn't yeah. that why he can't read? <laughs> no, I'm, I mean, like, isn't he li- illiterate? No. no, he's not illiterate. No. When, when, when do they indicate... I just assumed that he was, like, like dumb. 
No, he's like not. He was he, just like. Poor, he's a bit poor. of a country bumpkin, but he's a not bit, like. But stupid. his biggest thing is. I he, thought like he was like highly uneducated. No, he just doesn't no. know how to fight. Well, he never went to. Con- he didn't go to the same combat school that the others went to. Right. Which is why he comes. He doesn't know anything because he was never. It, it's basically like saying. Trying to throw somebody who's never been in high school. He was homeschooled and he falsified his records. Who was homeschooled through like elementary school, didn't go to junior high or high school, and then tries to go to college. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. In that, it's I thought not that I, he's dumb, he's just uneducated. Oh, when I. It comes to what yeah, but I thought that included like illiteracy. I thought he was like. Oh, my mic. Ge- genuinely, I thought he was like, you know, like illiterate. Oh, no. That's why he was struggling so hard. We are currently experiencing technical technical difficulties. Check your switch on there. Please stand by. Test test test. There we go. And we're back. And we're back. One of these days, we will fix the technical difficulties. Actually, more than likely, we will at some point just buy all brand new equipment. But not Because it's day. easier than actually fixing the problem. <laughs> you fix it by throwing money at it, right? Yeah, that's, that's, that's a tried and true One day method. we'll set up a Patreon, and you can help us afford new equipment. Uh, that's... Someday. Someday, someday if, if, if we get big, big enough for that, we can only hope. But, uh, yeah... Anyways, uh, where was I? Food uh, fight. Technical difficulties. Food fight. Um, yeah, again, That's one of my the favorite fights. The choreography during the food fight is just fun. It's great. Yeah, it, it, the whole concept, I, it, I'm i standing by. They had like a day where everybody was just getting together going, okay, opening scene, what are we going to do? Food oh, fight. let's have a food fight. It would be fun. I and it was. Okay, so we're going to yeah. go with Gary's idea. We're just going to put it up on the board as an idea. Thanks, Gary. What What's next? <laughs> And then everybody else's ideas just tanked. Mm. No, but I do. I, I think um, you you know more about comics. Uh, I guess maybe you do too. The scene where Weiss like hits the pillar and it breaks, and Ruby catches her and is like, "Weiss, no!" I've been told that that's like a image out of a like out of like the Death of Superman comic or something. Uh, it kind of evokes that image. That is not the only one it shows up in, but yeah, it's a pretty tropey image. Okay, because I heard somebody mention that that was a, a reference uh, to something in the comics. But <laughs> I will give them that it is very similar to a scene you find in Death of Superman, but uh, that that imagery is used yeah. a lot of other places too. Yeah, uh, I will say. Um, in the original um, trailer for season two, not like the the red, white, black, but the actual trailer trailer, like mm-hmm. normal trailer, uh, they had that scene in there, but because they wanted to hide the food fight, all the food and crap on the ground and the swordfish are all edited out. So all you see is her going with, with the music, like more somber music in the background. It's just, why snow? So you think it's, everybody thought it was like this big, somber, serious moment. And they come to find out it's, it's in the middle, <laughs> in the of, middle of a food fight. fight. Yeah. Which I like. That's one of those little moments I wish I was part of the fandom for. Just, you know, being bra- bracing for a serious, you know, kind of moment. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, no, she's just waving around a swordfish. Yeah. Which yeah, app- apparently somebody in that lunchroom likes swordfish, I guess, and likes it really, really fresh. I, I guess. I. It, it was whole swordfish. It wasn't filleted or cut up or anything. Either that it or was, was whole swordfish. Either that or was mounted on a wall somewhere before he started wrecking the place. I found it interesting but that unlikely. Th- the first it dust wasn't you see grip. Weiss interact with his red dust. And then again, she picks up uh, ketchup. ketchup. Yeah. Well, the, the, just yeah. the way they mim- use the food to mimic the... I actually threat. really dislike the way they use the ketchup to mimic the red dust. I feel it's rather clumsy as far as comparisons go, but that's a personal mm. aesthetic thing. Well, she didn't have a thing of mayonnaise. <laughs> that would have been so much worse. You can also uh. send pictures of Weiss and mayonnaise to mix. Oh, stuff. God, <laughs> dude. Yes. Come on, man. Yes. Oh, God. Speaking of which, uh, go ahead and check us out on our Twitter at InfoConfused and send us your fan art. But not, you don't have to send us but our But not fan Weiss art. and Mayonnaise. That's for Nick. He loves sandwiches. <laughs> God. 
Because they all send in their fan art. Nick is just going to come up to me one day and go, all right, dude, what the hell is wrong with your fans? <gasps> I am I am done with the I Twitter. Looking, you can manage so it now. You have it. You I have am a, looking forward to that day, sir. Uh, we, we, you guys have a competition. Everybody in the fandom community sends you guys yourselves as Ruby-inspired fan art. But instead of everybody drawing Nick, they just send you guys all of Nick, so you hold him separate. And everybody just sends him furry art. <laughs> it doesn't even have God. to be him. It just, it'll be Weiss and mayonnaise. Wait, people think I'm Weiss ho- covered in mayonnaise, holding a jar of mayonnaise, <laughs> fighting a monster made of mayonnaise? It's, why, are there, why is there so much furry porn? <laughs> that being said, if we haven't scared you off yet, go yes. ahead and uh, hit those buttons at the bottom. Like, comment, and subscribe. Right. Contemplate season three. Yeah. Right, um, Escalating quickly. God. <laughs> so much. Just I broke the narrators. <sighs> Sorry, folks. And anyways, all right, so we got, we got our fun food fight, and then Glinda comes in and fixes everything with her telekinesis. She definitely, she was riding high on some uh, Professor McGonagall energy in that room. Oh, yeah. Oh, she, she is totally McGonagall. Like 100%. I mean, she's not officially McGonagall, but she's totally yeah. McGonagall. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, that was, that's obvious the on the word go. she swings that riding crop. Mm. Dude, just the, oh, man, the, Talk about fan art. <laughs> this this stuff comes up. I will up take with, any of your the, the, there's some inter- fan art. There's some inter- there are interactions that will be coming up I would later be, on. I, I would totally go as like with a that high crop. Oh god. Giddy up. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. I'll pull. I'll what? I'll pull the wagon. Uh, pull pull a plow. <laughs> get hit with a you know, riding crop. <laughs> Yep. Good time for everybody. All right, uh, so Friday we, crops plowing. It'll be a good night. Hey, mm-hmm. hey. But, and I will say, w- only mentioning, on a Ruby podcast. Uh, going back to the animation, <laughs> just you know, while well, they're in there with the um, before the food fight, when they're just talking and Ruby's laying out her plan. Mm-hmm. I, I love the Richard Nixon reference, by the way. I'm not a crook. I am not a crook. Did you steal my binder? I'm not a crook. I am not a crook. That is not a no. <laughs> Whoops. I didn't know. Well, um, I think that's good. Yeah, it's real good. Um, but uh, you, you get the sense that, like, the last time we saw them in that cafeteria, it was just empty. Right, right. There were the characters we needed to see and, like, two other people. And then here, it almost feels like it's a different room because yeah. it's just so packed. With, like, like you said, there's a lot of repeats, and that is a thing they do to fill in the gaps or whatever. Oh, that's but gonna it's be actually easier there. on their artistic budget. That is, yeah. uh, that is going to be a thing. Per scene, I'm going to figure out... All right, so in this scene is the most copied person. Like, there was mm. 12 You characters. should try that with the shadow people in the first They get season. better. Well, they, they, they do get better with it. I mean, they, they all always end up using in, in, in you know, scenes with large groups. Yeah. Just because of the limit, you know, you timing do and all that. tend to get a background cast where at this point, at this point, eight seasons in, they've got fifty or sixty just background people that they just cycle through. Well, like when, well, they uh, have to build those up. When well, Mercury and Emerald are walking down the street, just talking and yep. you know, shooting the shit, the people in the it, background. There's one blonde particular in the background <laughs> that looks just like Jean. I thought it was going to be a scene oh, it where Jean a popular haircut. Them. Well, I mean, it could be. Well, that's the thing. Eventually, because at first it's just spamming, and then eventually what they'll do is they'll start modifying the models. They'll just change the color palettes, yeah. and then they'll start changing individual elements. So as it goes on, they always use that spamming technique for the background characters, but they'll use it less, wow. and when they use it, they'll actually start to alter that base model more and more and more. And eventually they get to the obvious. point where they have B-plots going on with the background characters that are completely separate from the oh, dude, A-plot dude, going some on. Of the, some I of mean, the, dude, they get so in-depth. Dude, some of, the, some of the stuff in Volume 8 with some of the background characters... Exactly. I didn't want to say that but specifically, You know but what yeah, I'm talking about, coming. though. Where it's, it's almost its own little story in the background. Yeah, that, no, no, that's what I'm yeah. talking about with the B-plot. Like... That's not they even a B plot. they That's go not even so a... much further with the background characters like than you could ever plot imagine. If it's even a plot at, at all. Point. But that's just really good background. Either work. way, but yeah. Pay attention to your background characters. Yeah. All right. Uh, so we get that. And then we go back to the villains. We finish with the villains again. Which is pretty um, sweet. Get Torchwick back. Get Torchwick again. Totally rolling. Uh, where Torchwick out thieves the thief. Yep. Steals a that. little piece of paper from her. Um, but then she steals his lighter back. At the end, yeah. It's she gets a back the last and word. forth. Yeah. Clearly, get the indication. They're These totally, individuals they're do not get along well. Totally going to date. 
Uh, then Cinder shows up. Yeah, yep. those two do not seem very fond of Torchwick. Yeah, and the feeling is clearly mutual. But he shuts up when Cinder shows up. And then Emerald is really excited to see Cinder. And runs up to her and gets completely ignored. So, yeah, clearly... Uh, Someone's a puppy dog. Yeah. Cinder, somebody's uh, a little e- eager and uh, eagerness is not being reciprocated. Right. At the moment. Um, so, and Cinder tells, kind of, we, we kind of get, start to get a little bit of the plan. What's going on with the plan? Uh, we knew they were stealing dust. Yeah. Right? And they got that whole warehouse Lots full of it. Of dust. All, uh, enough dust to cause a shift in the market. Yep. Do you remember, was this the uh, episode with the, what have you been doing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. Just the, <laughs> the holy shit you've been asking me to do. What the hell? Um, yeah, and then, is, you know, the pr- he's affecting the market price. He's got people running scared. The, the whole city's on lockdown, right? And then, you know, he's like, well, if you let me in on the master plan, this might go easier. And then she walks up to him and puts her hand on his face and just like, her oh, eyes glow. Her eyes glow. You'll, little need, bit. you'll know what you need when you need to know. And he just kind of uh, uh, right. right. backs down and then tells her they're done with dust. They're not going to do that anymore. They're not going to steal dust anymore. They're moving on to phase two. And then phase three. The sexiest phase. Profit. Dust. One would, one would expect. That is generally how that goes. Dust, the worms, profit. Phase one, steal dust. Phase two, phase three, work. profit. So that, that could actually make sense, though. Yeah, yeah. Phase no. one, steal dust. Phase two, sell dust. Sit, sit phase on three, dust. profit. That actually makes sense. Phase one, but. steal dust. Phase two, underwear. Phase three, profit? You, you, you make dust underwear? They make edible underwear. <laughs> oh, dust for ED. <laughs> oh, God. It's like a... Uh, you knew it would get there somehow. Mm-hmm. Or birth control dust. <coughs> Instead of having to get an injection, you're just, you're, you just line your, your underwear, be it male or female, with dust. With and dust, put it works dust sterilization? Mm-hmm. Dust sterilization helps with chafing, odors, <laughs> pH balance, ball oh. sweat. Keeps you trimmed, keeps you however you want. Uh, dust, the miracle cure all. Cure all. <laughs> it, it's it's like, like male body wash. You can use it to wash your hair, <laughs> condition your hair, lube your car, clean your grill, <laughs> brush your teeth, <laughs> no. strip paint from your driveway. Yeah. All right. Um, but um, yeah, so we know that we get, the villains clearly have some sort of bigger scheme going on. Yes, they're uh, actually scheming. They're not the just stealing dust. Dust, yep. Yeah, there There's is actually thing. a larger plot happening. The layers are starting to be exposed. Yes. Um, or at least the plotting is. Yeah. And Cinder is clearly... Tor- Torchwick is at least so on some level of, appears to be afraid of her based on the way he reacts. Where he he ca- kind of cower, cower... When he shuts up when she appears. He kind of... He also doesn't make a whole lot of eye contact. Yeah, yeah, you, you noticed very that. I wasn't yeah. sure if you'd noticed. He that. keeps, yeah. yeah, he he doesn't expose a whole lot of skin, and so I, d- I did notice she touched his face. So I'm thinking that her, when her eyes glow, that's her. That's how you know her powers are being activated. Mm-hmm. I think she has to touch you. Yeah. Uh, but on the other hand, like I said, emerald, emerald, like. Thinks, feels like she should be chummy with her. Well, yeah, that's because her power only works and on her. Mer- and then Mercury's just kind of like, it's yeah, a I'm l- here. Yeah, it's a it's She's not intimidated, but at the same time, yeah. he's not like puppy dogging yeah. her. No, because Mercury sits in the room and he goes, if I don't do anything, she's not going to have a reason to need to charm me. The other mm-hmm. chick goes, oh my God, you charm boys. That means we're best friends because I'm a girl. And it doesn't work on girls. Sure. That's, I mean... I'm just trying to think of like any any e- evil female driving force, and they always tend to have some form of 
hypnotic I, suggestion. I, yeah, either or seduction like or they can make you extremely pheromones, passive. maybe. I mean, yeah, I mean, look at uh, you've got Harley Quinn. She lulls you into a false sense of security, but at the same time, she's capable of huge, well, huge she's, amounts of compassion. That, that's just due to adorability. The closer would be someone like Poison Ivy, who uses her pheromones as a power to. Well, yeah, but I mean, like, affect I was the mind. Go down the list. Yeah. So, all um, right. So, I season two, episode one. Yeah. That was a solid. Uh, run. And we, we we did see it. So I'll just ask you for you. Know, we we got a quick look at it. Volume two intro, just based on your first first view. Uh So I'm still I'm I'm very comfortable with the first season intro. So, so it's gonna take a while. It's right? new. Yeah. Yeah, it's new. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just love the start gotta, of it. It's the point where... Oh, yeah. I love this song. This is what, I love that so yeah, much. Yeah, this song is bloody wonderful. We'll listen to it a lot this season. <coughs> yep. I'll have um, to break it in like a new pair of shoes. Yeah. All right. Uh, I, want your, I want your opinion on something while we're, we're on the subject of intros. I hated it. No. Because <laughs> um, we can go one or two ways on this. and I, I'll, I'll just, You're the one who's watching it, so I'll leave it to you. Some of the intros, not necessarily this one, but some of them in the future, um, can be a little spoilery as to things that are going to happen in the, in the rest of the volume. Okay. If you listen to the lyrics. Well, not, not just with the lyrics, but just in terms of imagery. Oh, yeah. Um, it could be mi- what I'll call very minor spoilers. Would you rather we forego the intros? No, I'd rather watch the intros. You'd rather just watch the intros and if there's a little bit of something. If, in if, it. The, if the director goes... No, put this in the intro. I like the foreshadow. Right. Yeah, it, That's generally the, my view yeah. as well. If the director wants you to see it, he'll <laughs> put it in there. If he didn't want you to see it, he wouldn't have put it in there. So, some people, I know some, some people. Bunny like, Island. It was Bunny on Island. the map. <laughs> I want to bring it back. Hashtag Bunny Island. Yeah, what, what, that's what you guys don't realize. That's why I'm leaving. I'm going on an expedition. <laughs> to, to find Bunny Island. To not just find Bunny Island, but there is a dust and an ore specific to Bunny Island, <laughs> and I'm going mm. to be making my weapon, which is also a gun, and then I will be back. <laughs> Speechless. See this? Yeah. And well, on that note... Your, your, your courage is... is, is uh, to be lauded, sir. sir. To be lauded, sir. Yeah, oh, know. yeah. You, I, I'll have to come up with some awesome song and a music video for my <laughs> intro. Yep. All right. Uh, well, I think that's it for today. Um, as Bill said before, you can go, go ahead and find us on Twitter at InfoConfused. Uh, if you like what we're doing, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I guess you really want to make sure you can, can we catch up with, uh, with us. You can click the bell for notifications. Ding. That is also a thing. Uh, also, uh, if you uh, want to listen to our podcast, uh, we have that on SoundCloud, Stitcher, and Spotify, as well as on YouTube. So uh, we have been informed and confused. I'm Alan. And I'm Bobby. See you later. <laughs>